Hello. So, we are working on some requests made by little kids just like you. And today I'm going to work on the request of a little girl with a cute smile. She wants me to do a cupcake house. Cupcake house? Really? Isn't that very funny? So let's go ahead and start doing a cupcake house for that. What do you need to do? What do houses have? What do cupcakes have? So first you have to think of those two, okay? And then you have to think of the flavor of the cupcake that you want to work on. <laughs> Very important, right? Then you have to think of what color uh, decoration you are going to do, icing and decoration that you are going to do on top. Very important again. So it's going to be a very serious project, right? Let's do it. I'm going to start with the sides of the cupcake first. Then one hand gap in the bottom. And as I go up, I slowly go away from the point where I started. Now I am going to put a door in the center. What kind of a door will look good on these? Hmm, a cracker maybe? <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, let me grab my pencil and I'm going to do the width of the cracker that I want to use and then I'm going to slowly go ahead and make a curve line stop it near that line and then extend it on the other side so that is going to be the base of my cupcake now for the door I'm going to do a slightly zigzag line for the edge of the cracker or if you don't want uh, it to be a cracker you want it to be a graham cracker you don't need to do this wiggly edges okay so that is going to be my door with one two three four five six yay there goes my cracker now i'm going to do the uh, cake part of it i am going to do curve line to do the cake part of it this side i'm going to do it smaller because i want the icing to come down a little on that side okay and also the cake part is like this a little overflown from the cupcake um paper holder now I am going to go ahead and do the icing first. So I'm going to start here, go around, take a big turn, go up, come down. There you go. Hot dog on a cupcake. Seriously, been the auntie? Yes. Let's have some fun going to do one more which is smaller then one last one which goes around like this so I'm going to go extend that so this is the cake part this is the starting of the icing now as I go up I make this curve line smaller and smaller and smaller I'm going to make one more on the top here One more now see how I am making them smaller and smaller as I go up because I want to make that pointer now I'm going to take it to the side come down go in a little come out yay cupcake is ready now I want to show since this is a house 
What do houses have? Chimneys. How do we do a chimney on a cupcake? We are going to use a chocolate pretzel stick. So I'm going to go out with a chocolate pretzel stick like this. Okay. Now, sprinkles and all I'll add later. This stage, I want to go ahead and do the windows. What can we use for the windows on a cupcake which are sweet and sour and minty? Mint. Let's go ahead and do a circle on this side. Another circle. So that's going to be our mint. Yay! Now let's make the path that leads to the house and let's end the cracker there. Let's do a different kind of a doorknob because we don't want to confuse with the same circle. So that is the doorknob. Now for the mint one two three four okay that's the window from the center the third set and the fourth set done now the cupcake paper the paper for the cupcake i am going to do a chocolate cake with vanilla icing with lot of colorful sprinkles so my base is going to be mm -hmm, what color since this is chocolate shall we make this rainbow our favorite let's go ahead and do it so i'm going to use the pencil to make some lines for me to know the way the coloring will be for each color there you go nice how many do i have one two three four five six seven eight that's okay that's okay we are going to use one more color on this it's our rainbow our choice now what else do we need on this the house has a garden every house has lawn what do we have on lawns trees so now what kind of a trees do you think you want to um you think will grow on around a cupcake house let's think hmm any guesses can you help me what grows around a cupcake house lollipops let's do so i'm going to do one and then a small one do the same thing on this side one and then a small one now let's do two lines for the stick hmm too much sugar is not good for your health. Bad, very bad for you. It's okay, we are not going to eat it. Now let's go ahead and color our rainbow. I am going to use the violet color first. Do the outline. Do 
in the outline and then color it in the direction of your drawing jumping over the mint don't color the mint in rainbow colors there you go okay now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to indicate all the colors first this will be the indigo color the outline for the indigo color on the bottom too over here after indigo comes the blue comes the blue outline 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 done now comes the oops oops green outline outline now comes the yellow Outline, outline, then orange, outline, outline, then comes red, outline, outline. Outline. So we have one extra. I am going to go ahead and do a reddish purple color on this side. So this egg not, is not rainbow exactly. Since we added a eighth color, that's fine. It's our choice. It is our cupcake. So I'm going to do the outline around here too. Now with the red, I need to do the outline next to the orange so that I don't go into the orange with the red and also around the mint. Now with the orange, outline around yellow so that I don't go in there and also around the mint. Now next to the green will be the yellow next to the blue will be the green when you do outlines it will be really easy for you while coloring Done. then comes the indigo outline outline i think this will be our song outline outline will be our song okay let's have fun so now that the outlines are done let's go ahead and color this done but there is one more thing that i want to do halfway through each color i'm going to add one more layer with the same color I'm using this same color, just adding one more layer. With the red, I do one more layer only on half the side. With the orange, the same thing. like this go ahead and finish this on done let's do the mint coloring oopsie <laughs> red and red are going together 
that's fine so this is our mint on both the sides now we need our graham cracker door i am going to use the reddish brown go ahead and do the outline 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 then color the whole thing in the direction of your drawing But this doesn't look like a cracker. Let's go ahead and make it look like a cracker. The holes become darker. Okay. Now let's add some darkness, a circle around the each hole. And also make the edges a little darker add one more layer on the edges done now that's a cracker for the door i am going to go ahead and make the door not black that should look like a door knob right now uh what next what next what next what next this is what we are going to do next let's cover the path but before that i want to add some sprinkles there so these are some of the colors that i chose for sprinkles today nice yummy sprinkles Those are my colors for the sprinkles. You can use any color sprinkles that you want. I'm going to make I think those are enough. Now I'm going to color the path gray color. Slow and easy. Be careful while walking on this path. We don't want the sprinkles to hurt our feet. Or we don't want to crush the sprinkles with our... Let's see. I just realized it was off the frame. Were you able to see me doing the sprinkles? Sorry, but this is how the sprinkles were. They're just lines. I'll do them on the top of the icing again. And then you can see them. Slow and neat coloring, so don't let the sprinkles poke your feet while walking. Done. Now, let's do the sprinkles on top of the cupcake. Okay. The sprinkles in all directions going in all directions A lot of sprinkles
though I am adding so many sprinkles, do you know what? I do not eat cupcakes. Even if I eat any, I don't like the frosting. Yes, I don't have that sweet tooth. So, lots of sprinkles. It might be yummy for you all, but I'm like, oh my God, so much sugar. I cannot take all that. I am that kind of person. Pink, 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 and pink. I think I'll not use this yellow. That's got enough sprinkles for me. May not be for you. So have fun with your cupcake. You do whatever you want to on your cupcake. It's not my cupcake. I'm not the one who's going to eat it. So I'm totally fine. Now for vanilla, I want to show the flavor. So I'm going to use this cream color. Just a little under each layer. on the sides a little too not much now again under this and on the sides a little on the sides and there you go yummy yummy cupcake Yummy, yummy cupcake. Done. One more. Though this is not much, it just adds a three-dimensional look. Though this is a very light color to be used on white background, it gives that 3D look for the frosting. Now on this one, it goes in both the sides. Like that. Okay. There you go. The vanilla frosting is ready. Now let's do the. Oops, oops, oops. I am going to need this color to do the. Uh, okay, this color to do the base of the pretzel stick. Just a little. And then comes my chocolate color. chocolate pretzel stick dipped in chocolate also the cake part I'm going to go ahead and do what what are we doing outline 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 Now, who do you think lives in this cupcake house? I was thinking of that. Like, when I read in the comment section that one of the kids wanted a cupcake house, I was like, who lives in a cupcake house? And not feel like eating it, right? So, any guesses? I thought maybe a family of ants which eats the house inside out and slowly makes the house hollow and live in it. Do you think that makes sense? Now let's make the edges dark. Or should I use a different color? Let me see. I want to check the color first. Which color? Which color? Which color? Which color? Okay, I'll use this one. A little darkness for the chocolatey part. There you go. That's my chocolate. Now shading, shading, shading. Slow and easy. 
easy, slow and easy. Follow the direction of your drawing. And also on this side, now on the bottom, just a little. Damn, does that look like chocolate cake? Now comes the grass. It could still be green and you can imagine this to be a fondant layer or a lot of green sprinkles. Your choice. I'm going to turn it around. Can you see it? Is it in the frame? Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Now the outline almost done. Let's go ahead and color it. Da, da, da. Color in the direction of your drawing. The lawn goes from side to side. It doesn't go from top to bottom. So let's do it side to side. On the top, but going up, see, side to side. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. bum. Oh, lovely. I would, I think I can live in this house. Do you think you can? Let's go ahead and add some darker green sprinkles to make it look like green sprinkles for the grass. I believe kids love sprinkles, so I'm adding a lot of sprinkles. But if you do not, no matter. I mean, doesn't matter. Don't worry. If you are someone like me who doesn't like sprinkles, not going to hurt. Done. Now, what else? What else? With the light gray, I'm going to add just one layer on the sides to give that some dimension. Okay. Now comes the lollipops. I do not want to do the lollipops in rainbow color since the cupcake is also rainbow colored. So I think I am going to pick some colors to do the lollipops. I want a pink lollipop, a lavender one, or maybe a lilac one. So these will be my lollipops. Okay, I'm going to simply use pink on this one because it's right next to the violet, I don't want to use the lilac on this one. So I'm using pink on this one. And since this is right next to that pink purple, I want to use the pink on this one. Don't want to put both the colors next to each other. Ooh, looks like big roses, right? <laughs> now I use this on this one. Dun, 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 dun. Now, usually lollipops have white uh, sticks, but since these are not our usual lolli 
Cuphead since there were no real cupcake houses in the real world we are going to have fun with green this is going to be like the trunk or the stem of the flowers or the trunk of the trees Ta -da! done love it yummy but i cannot take so much sugar so you have fun okay hope you all had fun with me hope you all love the cupcake house i can't wait to see the pictures of your cupcake house to do your cupcakes ask your parents to send me the pictures on my facebook i would love to see them have fun do not eat the whole cupcake in one go okay so much sugars is not good for health okay you will be like bindu auntie how can we eat this one this is not real i know it's not real i'm just making fun okay take care i'll see you next time if you have any requests if you want me to do anything uh, in particular ask your parents to send me the request on my facebook page and i will do that in the future sessions okay take care bye bye ta da